everyone welcome back to my vlog channel so it is like half past four right now i just went to tesco just bought myself some dinner and i thought i'm gonna do a little cook with me just an evening with me and you guys can see what i cook because i get asked so many times how do you cook your cheese pie so i'm gonna show you also did buy this massive tray of rolls because they're on sale with juice clear so obviously it'd be rude not to um but i just want to show you guys how i make my cheese pie basically and i'm in the mood but just a really good like home cooked meal like over the last couple of days i've just had a bit of a headache i've been a bit slow and i just want a nice home cooked meal to have basically so i've got my potatoes got my vegetables they didn't have any broccoli florets broccoli broccoli whatever you want to call it uh florette thing so i have to get this bag one i've got some tomatoes i've got some onion and i've got my cheese so they are all the things that you need i need cheese sauce as well but i use this one here it is here cheese sauce oh yeah there's loads in there love it the house is so quiet because my mum and atticus are out doing the food shop so they will be back halfway through me filming this video so it will get a lot louder um but yeah that's basically what i wanted to do so i hope you enjoy and let's get started i need some water first you know when you just feel a bit like under the weather i can't explain what it is i feel like it's just the cold weather and I haven't been out for quite a few days and I hate doing this with a passion um, and it is peeling potatoes. To be fair, I don't need to peel nowhere near as many as I usually would because I'm the only person having this. I said to my mum, do you want me to cook you one? And she was like, no, I'm not really in the mood to cheese pie tonight. So just me having it. So maybe I need to do like, far oh, these are a bit smaller than the ones that I did though. Let me get the big ones. Maybe, oh yeah, I can get away with doing six, I reckon. Hands are washed, wash them as soon as I got in. I'm just gonna sit and peel the potatoes. So how was everyone's Christmas? What did you do? I mean, I know the Christmas this year was just a bit kind of weird. And this morning um, I was reading news and they were like talking about a proposed tier five. And I was just like, this is just never ending. And it's just annoying because I really did think, well, probably a bit naive of me to think, but I was like, yeah, by like, you know, 2021, probably back on track, we'll be able to travel again, we'll be able to, you know, see people. Um, and I just feel like that was not really going to happen. But hopefully next year we can have a bit more of a normal Christmas and we'll actually be able to see everyone and it will be really, really nice. As my nan is in our support bubble, we've seen her literally every day, uh, which is so nice. I love seeing my nan. Last night, she actually sat and dried my hair for me, which was such like a nostalgic thing because when I was growing up, my nan would come and stay with us um, on weekends, literally every single weekend without fail. On a Friday night when I got back from school, she would always dry my hair for me and she'd rub cream into my feet. And yesterday, I got out of the shower while she was still here and she was like, can I dry your hair again? I really want to dry your hair. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, of course so she dried my hair for me and it was just such like a little nice nostalgic evening i just loved it i also planned out all of my moving content yesterday like what videos i want to do what vlogs i want to do and stuff i'm just waiting to sign the final papers but i told them the date i want to move in so oh just get me out now i'm so excited to decorate like i've got all of my stuff oh mum and Asuka's just pulled up I've got all of my stuff like on the landing at my nan's house and I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to decorate now. I really do hate peeling potatoes. I just find it so boring. Like I always say to my mum like, oh, come on, let's make our own roast on Christmas day. But I definitely can see why she doesn't like to now because I just hate doing this part. But the final outcome is incredible. So please, if you haven't tried cheese pie, you need to. What is everyone's New Year's plans? I mean, not that we can really have plans. Uh, this new year i am well, it's the first new year actually that i'm going to be at home for a while because last year me and Saf were in barbados and we were literally just messaging now and i was like babe last year we were in barbados and now we're in lockdown and it's just so sad and like the year before that i was at Saf's house and we had like a quiet night in um and the year before that i was also at Saf's house and we had a party i've literally spent the last three new years with Saf, and this is the first new year in three years that i'm not going to be spending it with her i think my plans are to have a bit of a pamper night to cook myself a really nice meal i mean they don't even have the fireworks this year which is like normally i always have them on on the tv so we don't even have that to look forward to this year so i'll probably just watch i don't even want to watch the fireworks 2019 is 2020 because it just wasn't really a good year was it um so i'd rather watch i don't know some form of fireworks on the internet 
watch a good little film just have a bit of a quiet one probably not even gonna drink either because when i'll be drinking by myself which i don't really fancy doing because my mum doesn't drink um and also i'm just not really in the mood to drink like i feel like because i haven't been out in so long as much as i want to when it actually comes to it i really can't be bothered does this mean i'm getting old no i know as soon as clubs open and as soon as we can have a bit of freedom again i will be out drinking but just the thought of it right now maybe it's just because the thought of drinking at home does not please me at all um but the thought of alcohol right now oh god couldn't think of anything worse but yeah that's my new year's plans let me know what you're gonna do i think i'm gonna do an instagram live actually that could be really fun just so we can have like a little chat together spend new year's eve together i saw rachel leary do one on christmas day um and it was so fun for like everyone to watch so i want to do one on new year's i'm doing five potatoes i physically cannot sit here and peel another one so final potato to be fair i'm only gonna make myself one if i was making two I would have to do double this amount but like five decent sized potatoes should do like one little pie dish but yeah new year's that's what i'll do then so follow my instagram and you guys can see the instagram live this is where my latticas rolling in now so how is it about to get a little bit noisy how are you where we went mum where did you go? We went to McDonald's. Lunchbox. Wow. Do I get the fridge rolls? No, first. Oh, lovely. How much are they? Uh, reduced to clear, £2.50. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be lush. They are the best thing. Yeah. I've had them over Nans. Oh, my God. They're phenomenal. And they'll do for a couple of nights as well. The chocolate is Belgian chocolate. Ooh, so it's amazing chocolate. Social media ring light. Why have you bought a ring light? You don't use a ring light anyway. Oh, right. starting the new year. And this fits the camera inside. It's got three different light settings, which you can... Where's work, that from? Um, Home Bargains, $8.99. That's all right. I bet it's one, not going to be very bright for $8.99, though. They had one that was on a tripod for £20, but mm. I thought this will do for a start. Yeah. Has it not got a tripod with it? Yeah, but it's a little one. Can you see? It's, so it's, it'll sit on something. Can you, but you can get, get one for £19.99 with a big tripod like yours. That's good. I well, thought that was quite handy to fit a phone in it. Yeah. Guys, the kettle is boiling. Got my potatoes in the pan. And then, let me just clear up all of this mess. Clear up as you go along. Nice. Don't wash it. Cold wash it. There. All I need to do now is to cut my tomatoes and grate my cheese. I need to put these on the hob. Oh, completely done. Guys, I'm so ready for this. I'm gonna put that on top. I'm gonna need to leave a little gap. We're good to go. Let me cut these tomatoes. Personally, I don't put tomatoes or onion inside the mixture. I just like to lay them on top or like sprinkle them on top. Some people do put them in the mixture, but personally, it's just not really for me. I think it can be quite overpowering. I just need a couple of slices of tomato. There we go. And they're all ready to be laid on top. I love them. Beautiful. And I need to break my cheese. How have I not spoken about the one thing I'm so excited to speak about? Tomorrow, the big tasty is coming back at McDonald's. How best end to the worst year? Honestly, I love the big tasty more than life itself. It is my favourite, repeat, all time favourite burger. And it was, when I saw that it was coming back, I was like, no. Um, somebody tweeted me and I was like, oh, it's fake, it's fake. Then I Googled it. No, nope, it's real, it's coming back. So expect another uh, mukbang, but I'm going to do it on my vlog channel, of me trying the Big Tasty again. So, oh my god, guys, it's the best burger ever. It's so big, but it's just the Big Tasty sauce. Like, there's something about it that is just so, oh. I'm also mastering this recipe now. Like, last time I didn't, like, prepare my cheese or anything. I didn't get my tomatoes ready. But this time I'm going to get everything ready. That's a lot of cheese for one pie. Potatoes are on. And then here is my cheese, my tomatoes. I'll use a little bit of this bed, to be honest. I might just pick out the broccoli because I don't really want anything else with it yet. Um, and then my onions. So I'll update you guys when I'm about to mash the potato. They have been boiling now for about 20 minutes. So it is time to give them a mash. I'm going to drain them and then we can mash them. I hate mashing them. I just don't have the arm strength. But I'm going to give it my best go. Let's give these a mash. I left them on a little bit. Well, last night I've left over. I've mashed it all up and now I am going to add my butter to cream it. I really want to buy it. That's what I should have bought. I should have bought some cream because everyone says that cream to cream mash is like the best thing. Weird little story. When I was younger, I used to sleepwalk and my mum and dad would find me sitting on the kitchen surface 
eating butter out of the tub. Had no idea why. Mum, do you remember that? When you and when I was younger and I used to sleepwalk and you and Dad would find me eating butter out of the tub. No, I don't remember that. Dad would kind of says I'd be on the kitchen side. I literally remember doing it. And everyone was getting really annoyed with me because I was always just sticking my fingers in the butter. When I was at Tesco, I saw a girl in my skinny dip hoodie, which was so cool. She had the food equals mood one on and I was like, oh my God, I was like, that's my hoodie. Because obviously I haven't really been out to see anybody wearing it. So I was just like, whoa, that's so cool. When you have creamed your mash, you then want to add all of the cheese and you basically just want to mix it all around. So it's basically just like cheesy mash, but make sure you really, really mix it. So it's all the way through. This is gonna be so, so yummy. Let's get out my cheese pie dish coming up to make two. And if I do, then I can save one for tomorrow. Oh my God, I do, I think. I think I actually have enough to make two. God, I actually do have enough to make two. Let me make this one a little bit thicker. Mmm, yes, we'll put it in the dish. In here. Oh, this is so perfect. Love cheese pie more than life itself. I'm really being blessed with my favourite food recently. Big tasty tomorrow for lunch. Cheese pie tonight for dinner. Then I'll have cheese pie again tomorrow night. I've got my two pies, which means I need to grate a little bit more cheese on top of them both the same to the other one i'm just gonna put tomato on the one that i'm having tonight that and then sprinkle the onion on top oh my god this is amazing here are my masterpieces i'm now gonna cook these in the oven and i'll show you guys what they look like when they come out here is my dinner guys it looks so good my cheese pie my broccoli oh my god okay taste test time here we go I've done it again. I've absolutely smashed that. Mm.